Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, 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 hello. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Nice. Good evening. Perfect. Thank you for being on time. Nice to see you one more time now. I'm ready, okay, for the class. Today I will be with camera and I hope to see your cameras as well. So appreciate Oscar, Nathanael, Mayra, Xiomara that you are already with your camera and let's see the rest. Thank you, Jancy Carolina for your camera. Let's see, my goodness, se les pegó la cobija, hoy los sorprendí viniendo temprano. Solté allá temprano, le dije, hoy no quiero llegar tarde. Y me vine rápido. So, me los agarré en curva porque no habían venido todavía ustedes. Ok, so, Oscar, David, so, how you feel today? You are better than yesterday, I remember that. You mentioned that you were kind of sick, right, yesterday. So, how you feel today? Yes, teacher. I have better. I feel better, okay? I feel better or I am better. Estoy mejor, me siento mejor, okay? I feel yeah. better, I am better. better. Okay, Oscar Davy, nice. Thank you, Mayra Xiomara, for your camera. Saúl de Jesús, welcome, nice to... Uh, See you one more time, Eliana Elizabeth. Nice. Hello. Okay, thank you, Eliana. Nice. So, Rachel, nice to see you, Raquel Sarai. How are you, Raquel? How you feel today? Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. I am, I am ready for this class. Okay, perfect. You ready for the class. What about you, Andrea Esmeralda? How are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, today I'm fine. No problem. Okay, you are fine. You look very relaxed, very nice. Nathanael, what about you, Nathanael? So tell us how you feel today. Mm, I am happy and amazing. Perfect. You are happy and also amazing. That's cool. That's nice. So, Mayra Xiomara, what day is today, Mayra? Good evening. I feel good. Listen, listen, Mayra Xiomara, listen to the question. So, what day is today? Day. Sunday? No. Sunday, my goodness. Domingo, no. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. tell us, Mayra Xiomara, what day it's today? Tuesday. Okay, perfect. Today is a Tuesday, right? Today is Tuesday. Nice. Now let's see Carla Vanessa. Welcome, Carla Vanessa. Thank you for your camera. Uh, let's see Carla Vanessa. Tell us what's today date. Um, ¿qué dije ahora? The date. What's a today date? Did you remember the question that we uh, studied last week? What's a today date? Um, quiero ver. Es que no, no sé si me está preguntando qué día es ahora. So that would be what day, Carla? What day is today? Oh, today is Tuesday. Okay. So now the question for you is, what's today date? What's today date? ¿Cómo ha sido mi día? Mm, now really that would be how was your day or how's your 
they going, ok? No problem, Carla Vanessa, no se me preocupe, ok? So vamos a ver, le vamos a pedir que le ayude a Sofía Stephanie, solo porque está conectando la cámara, ok? So, ajá, uh -huh. Sofía Stephanie, sálvenos, sálvenos, ok? So tell us, what's a today date? Ok, today date is uh, 3rd May 2023. Ok, ok. So, the day, Carla. What's today day? Lo yo le digo, ¿qué fecha es hoy? Usted me dice, ah, mira, hoy es 30 de mayo, la, 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 la. Right? So, that would be today is a Tuesday, May the 30th, the right? No 30, 30, sin th at the end, no. 30th, 30th, 30th ok, 2023. So, that's the day, that's the day today. Perfect. Nice. So today it's like a rainy day, rainy, right? So it was kind of raining at the beginning of the, in the morning, right? So Saúl de Jesús, tell us, what about you? Hi, Pray teacher. for the class, question For the class, yes. Very, okay. very nice. yes. You, you feel very exciting, okay? Exciting, está... Eh, contento, right? Eh, está feliz de empezar la clase, okay? Ready to start, exciting about the class. So, I guess still we have people missing, creo que todavía faltan algunas almas que ingresen, pero igual. So, we are going to uh, pass the attendance, right? So, usted sabe que siempre eh, paso la asistencia a los 10 minutos. So, let me, let me, let me, let me open right here the file and we are going to start with the attendance. Uh, this is the group number three. Okay, so since today is the 30th, so please let me know if you are here. Alison, Stephanie? Present. Nice. Andrea Esmeralda? Here, teacher. Nice, Miss Diana Cristabel. Cristabel, no está. E Elba Esmeralda. Elba Esmeralda. No, just quart. Uh, Gerardo Jose. Present. Okay, Gerardo, nice. Eh, Hilda Karina. Hilda Karina. No. Present. Eh, ah, okay. My goodness. Eh, then we have Iliana Elizabeth Hernandez. Present. Nice, Iliana. Nice. Eh, Jocelyn Esmeralda. Jocelyn Esmeralda. No está. Jocelyn Esmeralda Romero. Ok. So nice. Eh, José Pedro. José Pedro. No. Eh, Jocelyn Esmeralda. Yo sé la esmeralda, ¿no? Hay dos, teacher, por la pregunta. Yo sé la esmeralda Rodríguez, sorry. Sí. That's you, right, Rodríguez? Sí. Ok, uh, let's see, then we have Josué, Natanael. Present teacher. Nice, mister. Um, then we have... Um, Carla Panexa, Portal. Present Carla teacher. Vanessa. Let's see, Bernal, Bernal, Bernal. Katy eh, Jordana. Katy 
no está. Katy Jordana no está. Eh, Larixa, Tatiana. Hello, present. Ok, Larixa, nice. Eh, Mayra, Xiomara. Present. Nice, Xiomara. Eh, Mirna, Elizabeth. Thank you, Mirna. Eh, Mirna, Elizabeth. Oscar Davy. Oscar Davy. Nice. Uh, Rachel Sarai. Present. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, Saúl de Jesús. Present. Thank you. Cindy Carolina. Here. Nice, Cindy. Eh, Sofía, Stephanie. Here. Okay, nice. Eh, Sofía, Stephanie. Wendy, Gabrielle. Present. Thank you, Wendy. Jancy, Carolina. Present, teacher. Nice, Jancy. Eh, Ricardo Antonio. Here, teacher. Nice, thank you, Ricardo. And that's it. So, so we teacher, have just... eh, Yo acabo de conectarme, creo que me mencionó antes de conectarme. Soy Elba Esmeralda. Ok, Elba Esmeralda, ahí tiene su asistencia. Okay, nice, no problem. So we are going to validate the attendance, uh, you know, one more time at the end. So, siempre ahí se trata de validar quién sí, quién no, right? So let's see. Now let me share the screen. Now I guess you can see it, all right? So look, uh, this is where we stopped yesterday, right? So did you remember this uh, conversation between Dr. John and Ms. West, right? So we practice a little bit this conversation, but let's see, just to keep in mind. So we are going to have just one couple uh, to practice this conversation. So that will be uh, Sophia, Stephanie. You will be Dr. Jim. Um, Andrea Esmeralda, please be Miss West. So just read it, okay? Just read the conversation to practice a little bit more. Okay. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm suffering. Mm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at, at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything, anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Perfect, okay, I like it. Very nice pronunciation for you too, okay? So nice, okay? Remember, I told you, you need to sound like a question if you see the question mark. If you see an exclamation mark, so you have to sound like surprise, right? Oh, really? Okay, oh no, right? So that is the correct way, okay? And also punctuation, right? If you see a comma period, so you know that you have to stop a little bit. So nice, let's continue because of the time. So we are going to move on from this um conversation and you see right here we have a detail about pronunciation sentence in intonation right so normally so la intonación va al final don't worry too hard don't drink coffee don't exercise this week use some muscle cream go to bed take some aspirin ok so siempre acuérdese que usted va como una subida y bajadita la entonación, right? So al final, al final, al final, normalmente yo meto la, 
la velocidad, ok? La entonación en este caso más fuerte. So now we have right here imperatives. By any chance, do you know what is an imperative? Alguien sabe, alguien reconoce what is a, a imperative. So what is that? Because we use it every day, but we don't really know that they are imperatives. Imperativo decimos en español, right? So what is an imperative? Advices. Advices. What else? Okay, so imperative. So en español yo digo imperativo. Nosotros ocupamos este lenguaje imperativo prácticamente todos los días, pero no lo sabemos en español, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, yo digo, eh, vaya a acostarse, ¿ok? A su hijo, por ejemplo, usted dice, vaya a dormirse ya, ¿ok? So, that is an imperative, es como una instrucción, es como un, una orden, si se puede decir así, de hacer algo o, o, o celebrar, qué sé yo, ¿right? Look at the examples that we have right here about the imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink a lot of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Okay? Todo lo que a uno le dicen, no, 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 más lo come, más lo hace, right? So, but those are imperatives, right? So, imperatives son como... Eh, pequeñas frases que denotan indicación o eh, no que lo obliguen, pero sí le dan la apertura de que usted eh, haga algo, realice una acción. So, this is something that you just need to know, ¿ok? No se preocupe si usted dice es que no me acuerdo de ningún imperativo. No necesita recordarlos, no necesita memorizar lo que usted necesita más bien es saber aplicarlos, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, usted tiene, no sé, un perro, usted le dice al perro, eh, échate. So ese es un imperativo, es como una orden, ¿ok? Que usted le está dando al animal en este caso. Los ejemplos que tenemos acá dice, take a pill every four hours. So that is part of the conversation that we had before, right? So, donde la doctora le dice, haz esto, perdón, realiza lo otro, lo siguiente, porque le está dando como unas advices, unas suggestions, right? It's not like a mandatory and like an obligation, but yeah, it is, it is, it is like, um, like a rule, okay? Que usted quiere que hagan algo, que digan algo, que pase algo como usted eh, considera lo más apropiado. So, questions about this? Are we okay with the imperatives? Yep, no. Estamos bien con los imperativos. Son en español, son como pequeños comandos, right? Como pequeñas eh, indicaciones que uno le da. Hey, apague la luz. Hey, cierra la puerta. Hey, abra la ventana. So, those are imperatives. I'm sorry, Saul. Excuse me. Um, it's correct when the, my son uh, today no watch TV, example. Yeah, that can be an imperative. Usted le dice a su baby, okay? Uh, do not watch TV today, okay? So that would be an imperative. That would be like a little small room rule okay so let's complete exercise eight says so complete these sentences use the correct form of the words okay so look we have these words call see not call not drink listen take not worry not eat okay and we have right here Different situations can be a pain, can be a sickness. So you need to classify the words that are in the box in the correct place. Number one and two, it's the example. It says, um, call a dentist, right? Call a dentist. Number two, don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Y ahí ve que ya tienen ahí el check mark porque ya fueron usadas, right? So we are going to try to do the rest 
And um, let's see, we have something right here in the chat. Eh, alguien creo que dijo que no se podía conectarse, la verdad, no sé. So let me take a picture right here about this. And I will, I will send it to the group. And please try to um, try to complete it, right? So ahí hay diferentes verbos o adjetivos que van a determinar la acción de el verbo en este caso. So permítame, ahí le acabo de enviar la imagen por si alguien no no tiene el, el, el libro, el video, el teléfono, lo que sea, para verlo en tiempo real, ahí está. So, try to do it individual. No, that would be in groups better, porque individual se van a dormir. Mejor lo hacemos en grupo. So, dije, ver, ¿a dónde está? Groups. So, we are going to create like four different teams, okay? So, what we are going to do, complete that exercise, okay? Ahí están los verbos. Vea usted cuál le corresponde a cada uno de las acciones, las sentences, right? So are we clear what we are going to do? Yeah. Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. so let me open.
Okay. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. Ay, dice no terminamos, dijeron unos por ahí, pero bueno. Vamos a ver qué sucede, ok? So don't worry if you haven't finished, ok? So acá lo vamos a try to uh, complete the exercise, right? So imperative, so estamos viendo imperativo, se busca en español, es exactly the same in English, right? Like a command, like an order, right? Like a rule that you say something to someone. Teacher. Ok. Um, Oscar David, go ahead. Este, estuve quebrando de la cabeza tratando de saber cuál era la quinta y, y, y obviamente la, la única que me la única opción que tenía es listen pero solo decía en la imagen relaxing y obviamente no 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 me compaginaba pero ahora que veo toda la pantalla sí dice I'll listen to relaxing music ah okay so quizás tomé mala captura I'm sorry yeah that was me Okay, but yeah, can be listen to relaxing music. Okay, but let's see together, right? Number one, number one, it's uh, call a dentist. Call a dentist. Number two, don't worry, too much. don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Okay, don't worry too much. And the number three, Ileana Elizabeth. So that would be number three. What would be the answer? Your microphone, Ileana. Yeah, your audio, Ileana. Um, ay, que no le escribí. Okay, okay. So Cindy Carolina le va a ayudar. Ella sabe la respuesta. <laughs> Cindy Carolina, number three. What do you think about it? Take two aspirins. Take two aspirins? Two aspirin? Okay, so dejémoslo ahí. Take two aspirin. Vamos a ver. Nathanael, number four. The, don't go to school. Mm -hmm. That would be negative. Okay. Don't. Teacher, es que ahí está not go, not go, y no sabíamos si poner o not go o, o como not, go. not go. Nosotros pusimos don't go, pero es aquí, acá está don't not go. Pusimos... Remember que tenemos que transformarla, right? So ahí sí está así, not go. Like uh -huh. this one, look, not worry, but uh -huh. the... Imperative would be don't, uh -huh. don't Entonces, worry, uh -huh. Entonces, don't go, it can uh -huh. be, right? Don't go to school. To school uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. aquí asumiendo uh -huh. que alguien está, ay, me duele la cabeza, right? So no vaya a la escuela, so uh -huh. don't go to school. Uh -huh. So nice, Jancy Carolina, number five. Extend to relax. Uh, relax. 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 Listen to relaxing music. Okay, so listen to relaxing music. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see the next one that will be for Oscar Davy, please, number six. See a doctor. See a doctor can be right. Be a medico. So if you don't feel well, so you don't feel um, good, so please see a doctor. Uh, Mirna, Elizabeth, the next one, number seven. Don't eat any candy. I'm sorry, one more time. Sería, don't eat any candy. That is the last one, right? Don't eat, eat any, any candy. candy. Okay, so that means that the number seven will be don't drink coffee. Right? Esa no la hemos puesto. Don't drink coffee. Okay? Don't drink coffee. Don't eat any candy. Okay? So, keep in mind, esto de los imperativos no es algo así como que, wow, algo. The things that exist, right? The same as, uh, as Spanish. As I told you, we have it in Spanish. So, they do have it in English as well. That is just like a reference for you to um, keep in mind that 
imperatives, we have it in English, right? And these expressions, okay, these like advices or these um, commands uh, can help us if you have a situation, right? So, for example, usted con un amigo, amiga, un familiar le dice, ay, vieras que me duele la cabeza. ¿Verdad? No hay que dejarlo en visto, como dice, algo dice uno, ay, mira que lo siento, mira, trata de tomarte esto, hace esto, hace lo otro, right? So we use those expressions in, in Spanish, right? So the same story in English, if someone says, you know what, I don't feel good, I don't feel well, I have a, I have a flu, okay? Don't worry, okay? So take an aspirin, drink, um, medicine right so algo le dice usted a la persona so the same study the same story in english okay now it says write two pieces of advices for each problem use uh the sentences from part eight or your own ideas okay so look we have four situations right here i have a tooth shake i have a headache i have the flu and i can't sleep at night so that will be four different um, situations. So what would be the pieces of advice? Esto que dice acá, pieces of advice. ¿Qué dijimos que era un advice? Un aviso. Mm. Consejo. Consejo. Mm -hmm. There you go. So yo le digo, hey, I need your advice. Le estoy prácticamente diciendo a usted, necesito un consejo. Fíjese que esto es esto, esto, esto. Right? So I need an advice. So write two pieces of advice. So aquí hay que escribir dos sugerencias, ¿ok? Dos eh, ejemplos que le podemos recomendar a esta persona. Por ejemplo, number one, uh, he, it says uh, that he has a tough shake, right? So number one, call a dentist. Katy Jordana, what do you think can be another piece of advice for this uh, guy right here in number one? Podría ser, don't eat any candy. Perfect, don't eat candies. Okay, don't eat candies. Can be nice. Then we have number two. I have a headache, so she has a headache. So Mayra. Xiomara, what would be the piece of advice that you can provide to this lady right here? See a doctor. Can be. See a doctor, can be. Uh, what else? Um, let's see, what else? Um, Carla Vanessa. Podría ser take a pill. Perfect. Can be, uh -huh. take a pill. So we are not doctors, but we normally, we act, we act like that, right? right? So we recommend, mire, tomes el monte de no sé qué cosa, right? Uno no es doctor, pero uno da esos advices, right? Nice. Um, let's see, the third one. The third person says, I have the flu. So, Saul de Jesus, I have the flu. Mm, maybe, teacher, uh, don't go to work. Don't go I to think. work. Yes. Okay, can be, right? Don't go to work. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Cindy, Carolina, go ahead. Uh, drink uh, lemon with garlic tea. Perfect. Okay. Drink a lemon with garlic uh, tea. Okay. Nice, Cindy. You look like doctor. <laughs> okay. Nice. And the last one. I can't sleep at night. So what would be the advice? Uh, let's see, Nathanael. I can't sleep at night. Um, and listen to relaxing music. Perfect. You can listen in or you can listen to 
relaxing music. Okay, can be. Uh, let's see what else. Um, or, or mm -hmm. Saul. Maybe I I don't know. Is is a leer un libro. Okay, so please read a book. Okay, I can't sleep at night, so you should read a book. Debería de leer un buen libro, right? You should read a good book. Nice. So I guess that we are nice in this part, right? So la idea se comprende que es un imperative in the situations where we can use in imperatives, right? So nice. Helping advice. Now we have the reading, my goodness. 10 simple ways to improve your health. My God, 10 simple ways to improve your health. So, ¿qué es esto de improve? Mejorar. 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 There you go. Usted me dice, mire, yo quiero mejorar mi inglés. Okay. I need to improve my English level, okay? So improve, that will be mejorar, okay? So the, that's the name of the of the reading, right? Yes, eh, simple cosas que pueden mejorar su salud. It says, can you think of some ways to improve your health? Uh, don't look at the article, okay? So pieces of advices, right, that we can provide. But let's see the ones that we have in the in the reading. It says, believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. Que fácil lo ponen, right? So que va a mejorar su um, vida, su calidad de vida, si sigue estos 10 pasos. Bueno, veamos qué trata. So let's see. Um, Elba Esmeralda, please read the number one. Okay, teacher. Uh, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. Okay, imagine eat breakfast. That's the number one. That's the number one advice. Y nosotros lo que menos hacemos es desayunar, right? So eat breakfast. That will give you energy for the morning. So... Si usted de los que no desayunan, empiece a desayunar. Aquí dice 10 pasos para mejorar la salud, la calidad de vida. Ok. So, number one, eat breakfast. So, number two, Jancy Carolina, go ahead. Go for a walk. Walking is good. Exercise and exercise is necessary for good health. Thank you, Chancy. So go for a walk. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que usted fue a caminar? No, si nunca he ido, más. Okay, so go for a walk. So walking, it's good exercise. And exercise is necessary for a good health, okay? Camine es bueno hacer ejercicio. Y dice que el ejercicio es necesario para la buena salud. So that's the number two. Uh, Oscar David, read the number three, please. Okay. Learn your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flushing keeps your gums healthy. Perfect. Thank you, David. Nice pronunciation. Very good. So, flush, flush your teeth. ¿Qué es eso de flush? Flush. Uh -huh. Ajá. Hilo, como hilo dental. Flush. Ah, ok. So, mire lo que dice ahí el parrafito. Don't just brush. Don't just brush. Ok. No solo cepillarlo. Exacto, no solo lo cepille. Flushing keeps your gums healthy. Ok. ¿Cómo de ese verbo en español? ¿Cómo decimos? No, que no decimos eso, creo yo. En español, usar el hilo dental, el, de lo, eh, el hilo dental, right? Así decimos, me voy a... La verdad que no sé ni cómo decimos eso en español. Alguien que nos ilustra. 
No hay un verbo, right? En español. En inglés, sí. El sí, verbo flush. Limpiar, así decimos nosotros, right? Clean. Límpiese los dientes con hilo dental. Porque no decimos cepillar. Digo, ven cepillo con el brush tip, right? So, ajá. Uh -huh. So, flush your teeth. Imagínense, creo que cada vez vamos peor con estos tips. <laughs> Empezamos con lo que menos hacemos, right? So, flush your teeth. Esto le puede ayudar a usted a ser más healthy, más saludable. Nice. Uh, Carla Vanessa, number four. Dice, water helps your body in many ways. Okay, and what is the tip? ¿Cuál es el tip? With the green letters, Carla? Creo que dice, ayuda a tomar agua, algo así. Water. Yeah, but read it in English, okay? No me lo ha leído este. Ah, perdón. Drink a cup of water every day. Okay, perfect. Tomar Drink. ocho vasos de agua. Uh -huh. Cada día, right? Al La cuerpo, receta del algo agua. Así. Okay. Water helps your body in many ways. So, el agua ayuda a su cuerpo en muchas maneras, right? So, drink eight cups of water every day. So, ya llevo uno, por lo menos de los que, que hago yo, all right? So, out of the ten. So, ya este sí lo hago, right? I drink uh, eight or even more water every single day. So let's see the next one, number five, Rachel Sarai. Okay. Stretch for five minutes. 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 Stretching is important for your muscles. Okay, thank you, Sarai. Stretch for five minutes. Okay, so stretch, that would be like, you know, do the exercise, right, right? Stretching is important, important. Okay, listen, important. Okay, so important, it's different, right? Important, important, okay? It's important for your muscles. Guess what those muscles right here? Los músculos, los músculos, ok, stretching, hacer como un, un estiramiento es importante para los músculos, right? So, nice. Let's see, uh, Katy, number seven. Yo no falta el seis, Number six. <laughs> number six, number six, I'm sorry. Kathy. Okay. Wear a seat belt every day. Seat belt save thousands of lives. Thank you. Wear a seat belt. Okay. Use el cinturón de seguridad. Wear a seat belt. It says every year seat belts save thousands of lives. Okay. Use el cinturón de seguridad cada año. Los cinturones de seguridad salvan miles de vidas, ok? Pero el so, autobús no lo trae. I'm sorry? El autobús no trae. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. So we have to complain right there. <laughs> ok, nice. Sofía, Stephanie, continue with the number seven. Ok, number seven. Did something to change your brain? For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Okay, so do something to challenge. Challenge. ¿Qué es challenge? Desafío. Desafío. Desafío, okay. Do something to challenge your brain, okay. Haga algo que desafíe su mente. A veces uno es haragán, ¿verdad? No quiere pensar. Y eso hace que afecte a la salud. So we need to do something. It says, for example, do a crossword. ¿Qué es un crossword? Rompecabeza. 
un crossword es un crucigrama. Ah, crucigrama, perdón. Ajá, el puzzle, el puzzle puede ser el rompecabezas. Or read a new book, ok? Leer un, 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 un libro nuevo, ok? So that would be something important. Uh, Andrea Esmeralda, number eight. You said project. Pro project. 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 Of mo moist producer and sunscreen. Okay, protect your skin. Cuida su piel, right? Protect your skin. Use a lot of uh, moisturizers. So, moisturizer. ¿Qué es eso? And sunscreen. Crema. Crema solar. Filtro solar. Hidratante, hidratante. Hidratante, ok. Hidratante y, y protector, protector solar. solar. Filtro, dice uno la mujer, right? So, me voy a poner filtro para el rostro, right? Filtro para la piel, para no dañar, para no quemar. So, that is protect your skin. Uh, let's see, Mayra, Xiomara, number nine. Mayra. Oh, get a no calcio. Uh -huh. Continue. Your bones need to eat. Dairy food like yogurt, milk, and cheese have calcium. Thank you. Get enough calcium. Okay. Consuma calcio suficiente. Okay. So your bones okay. need it. ¿Cuáles son los bones? Huesos. Los huesos. Tus huesos lo necesitan. Dairy foods. ¿Qué es eso? Lácteos. La comida. Ah, bueno. Like. Ajá. Dairy foods. Son los lácteos. Los derivados de la vaca. Dice. Ok. So, daily. Ahí no dice daily. Ok. Como comida diaria. Ahí no dice daily. Ahí dice daily. Foods, ok, los lácteos, like yogurt, como el yogur, la leche y el queso, have calcium, ok, estas cosas tienen calcium, ok, nice, the last one, uh, Larisa, me pareció ver que estaba por aquí, thank you Larisa, Tatiana, number 10, take a time up, a break up, about 20, min 20 minutes, do something different. For example, get up and go, sit down and listen to music. Okay, perfect. So it says take a time out. So que es un time out? Tiempo libre. Tiempo un, libre. Un break, ¿verdad? Un receso, so un time out. So tome un receso, un, un break, ¿ok? Of about 20 minutes, por lo menos de 20 minutos, ¿ok? Do something different. Uh, for example, get up and walk, ¿ok? Haga algo diferente, como por ejemplo, levantarse y caminar o sentarse y escuchar música. Ok, or sit down and listen to music. So nice. Haga la cuenta de los 10 cuantos usted realiza para ver qué tan saludable lleva usted su vida. Creo que nos quedamos reprobados en la gran mayoría. Pero solo, bueno. Solo dormir. Solo dormir, dice ahí sí, me apunto, dice Larisa. Ok, so those are the tips, ok. So let's see if we, if we um, uh, get the idea of the reading. It says, read the article, then complete the sentences. Ok, so ya lo leímos, vamos a completar estas oraciones. To get exercise, so we need to go for a walk. Para eh, agarrar ejercicio, levantar aquí, levantar por allá. So necesitamos, dice, uh, go for a walk. Tomar alguna caminata. So now it says number two, to help your bones. ¿Qué podemos hacer para to help our bones? Take calcium, teacher. 
Perfect. Get calcium. Get calcium. Dairy products. Okay. Dairy products. Drink uh, milk. Eat jogger and dairy products. Number three, to help your muscles. What we are going to do to help our muscles? Stretching the muscles. Okay, stretching out can be. What else? Que mas? Do yoga. Okay, can be, right? It's not part of the article, but it still can help us do yoga. Uh, number four, to keep your gums healthy. Uh -huh. ¿Qué podemos hacer to keep your gums healthy? Hold, oh, no me acuerdo. I'm sorry. Hola, hola. Flush your teeth. Era lo del hilo dental, pero no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Era eh, brush your teeth and floss your teeth. No, flush your gums. Don't your gums. Floss. Uh -huh. el, el, de, el que trae el... el, el... Flossing. Flush. Flushing your teeth. Flushing your teeth. Okay, to keep your gums healthy. Flushing your teeth. Okay. Josué Natanael, what about number five? To have energy for the morning. To have energy for the morning. Uh, how do you say tomar el desayuno? Take breakfast or eat uh, breakfast. Take, bre have take breakfast. breakfast. Take okay. breakfast. Take breakfast. So, usted quiere andar una mañana tranquila, desayune. Right? With a cup of coffee, teacher. Okay, definitely with a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, let's see number five. To have energy for the morning? Take yes, a break. Um, take a break can be. Uh, take a shower. Take a shower as well, right? So we feel better. Nice. The last one, Cindy, to challenge your brain. To do something to challenge your, our brain. For example, a puzzle. Do a puzzle can be, do a crossword, so like table games, right? Well, learn to new language. Le learn the new language can be, okay? So nice, let me uh, validate the attendance. We have just two more minutes, but I need to say the names, okay? Porque no sé si están o no están, necesito validar. Diana Cristabel. Present. Okay, Diana. Eh, veamos aquí, Jose Pedro. Present. Nice. Um, Katy Jordan. Here, teacher. Nice. Hey, my goodness, we have full house today. So, full house. Todos han venido este día. Como no hubo clase ayer, se espantaron todos y vinieron ahora a ver qué había pasado, right? So, nice. So, time is over. Ya validé asistencia. Uh, we are going to have exactly the same uh, class, the same link, the same uh, everything, a schedule and everything. Remember a schedule, horario, diga schedule. 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 Okay. Nice. So the schedule is the horario. So tomorrow we have class, exactly the same schedule, the same link, the same everything, right? So please do your part, okay? Do your work. No espere que le llamen, que le digan, que le cuenten que no ha trabajado, okay? So usted vaya proactivamente trabajando en la plataforma para que no vaya a quedar usted ahí como es que no, no hago la plataforma, right? So, no more questions, I guess. So, time is over. Mañana, misma hora, mismo canal, mismo todo, okay? So, please uh, rest. 
try to sleep and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Bye bye. Good night. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.